Friday evening, just got done having dinner. I think Jordan and I are gonna watch the TV show, great new TV show, Yellowstone. Got my, my little Amazon Fire Stick. Just speak into the deal here and oh, it'll pull it right up. Yellowstone. Hmm. Yellowstone. Because we're just going to have to manually type it in because Amazon isn't smart enough to spell the word Yellowstone. Ship it on home to daddy. explanation is due as to where in the devil I've been. Answer? A new app which I joined a private club. So I've been playing 2-4 No Limit and have been wrecking shop. Wow! So I have absolutely no live footage at all. Some other big news this week, which I am just stoked about. So of all the online poker training sites, I got asked this week to be an affiliate with my personal favorite, which is Red Chip. Specifically an affiliate for their core program. I had recommended core to a bunch of different people without ever being an affiliate. So if I had talked to you about core before this video came out, I was benefiting from those products myself, but now I'm part of their team, which I just am too grateful for. So if you guys want to know more, if you want to know more about the products that they offer, hit me up, comment on the vlog. I know some of you, this is going to rub the wrong way, but to me, this is a great opportunity. I'm going to leave my affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, so if you want to get set up in their core program, it's $5 a week. $5 a week and you can cancel at any time. And this is gonna start you at square one. This is a great tool for people that either have no experience with the game or very cursory understanding or whether you're a long time pro or a very serious hobbyist looking to brush up on some of the stuff you may not think about every day in your sessions. I personally am gonna do a full review of the product at some point in time coming up and then I have a very special video series that will be involving my wife and the product sometime here in the future. So check out the description down below for a link to their core program. Enough about that. So, officially kind of back. I've said that multiple times, but I bought something last night that will hopefully give me motivation to start creating more content. Pretty excited about this guy. So now, it's time for my wife and I to go fly it. Thursday night softball, men's at 6.30, co-ed at 9.30.
continue the undefeated season. I said the king's in the building. All right, after the men's game in the evening, we won 14 to 13. Was it 14 to 13? No, it was 13 to 12. 13 to 12. Now we got co-ed at 9.30. I'm gonna get a little of this drone action over the top of the diamonds, because I think that'll be a super cool shot. Today is Friday, it's road trip day. Because me and the boys are going down to the Windstar for the River Series. Let's run it up. Officially made it to Thackerville, AKA William Thackerville. Saying it's the best Western. Notice the pronunciation of that Wes churn. And uh, got a short little walk or carriage ride over to the casino, just a stone's throw away. Put some stuff in the room, and then it's Grind Nation, stack and rack. Stack and Rack Friday. Had to do a little pre-gaming before we play. Hey Aaron, does my finger smell like poop? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Second time that I've come to IHOP. I just don't know if I can trust my friends anymore. Aaron this time got a dad gum fruit salad or whatever that that thing is. The guy's a cattle farmer and he gets freaking a fruit cup. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Back to God's country. Unfortunately, all of us except Matt with a massive, massive session, with a, well, with a massive, massive trip, 
of netting $60. Uh, everybody else seemed to be quite uneventful, but had a good time anyways. First time playing at Windstar. Shout out to everybody that came up and said something to me about the vlog. It was very cool meeting you guys. I'm sure we'll be down there again. I'm not quite sold on playing during circuit events because you're just playing with a bunch of other poker players. And I don't know if that's the most profitable. So today was supposed to be the first hunting day of the season because I was at Windstar on September 1st, which is opening day of Dove. So we were all gonna go out and hunt today. But last night it flat out dumped everywhere in Kansas. So I hit up my boy Aaron about hunting his property and his place was totally flooded and all of his cattle got out. So that ended up being a no-go. So I stayed in Pratt and here's some footage of the flooding here. So enough about that. Let's get into some poker hands. Um, this first poker hand was a 2-4 no limit hand played online. So this is in that private club and we are 5K effective with the big stack. The shortest stack in this hand has a thousand. So the guy with a thousand dollars opens to $12 under the gun. I'm next to act with pocket queens, pocket ladies. So I bump it up to 60. The guy to my left who can be described as a maniac. So he calls and then it goes back around to the initial raiser who calls the 60. The flop comes out jack, nine, four, total rainbow board. The under the gun player checks, I bet 100. And then the maniac raises to 500 and the initial aggressor shoves for a thousand. The problem being in my spot is I'm 5K effective with the guy who re-raised to five. Yes, he has the capability of doing this with a random Jack X, most likely Ace Jack or King Jack. But my real worry is what the under the gun player just checks ships a Jack nine four flop with after calling a three bet. So I, uh, I went ahead and did the uh, nitty thing and I went ahead and laid down my hand. I used to go on there and tell some of the regulars, I was like, you nitty mother The maniac snap calls. Maniac has ace jack, and the under the gun player has jack 10 suited. So we missed out on a ton of value there. But I think overall, I just hate, that's just such a tough decision with my hand. Um, I mean, even with kings or aces, like, I don't know, we can't be like, we can't be bet folding that flop that often with over pairs, but given the action and given the fact that it was a three bet pot, I think a fold is probably fine. Let me know what you guys would do in the comments down below. Another hand was played at Windstar, and this was in a two five game. This is a $500 cap game. Um, so we have 600 effective to start this hand. I'm in the hijack and it is folded to me. Uh, I open to $20 with king eight of hearts. The cutoff calls, the button calls, the small blind calls, and the big blind calls. Which is weird because it had been a relatively tight table through the duration of my session so far. Um, the flop is gold and it comes out 883 with two clubs. So there's two checks to me. I end up I, I don't see a real reason in slow playing this hand. I think I think that fast playing, without a doubt, is the best decision here, considering A, how many people are in the pot, and B, there should never be an eight here, very rarely in my range. 
So I end up betting $70 on this flop, the cutoff player calls, and then the big blind player calls. The turn is a jack of clubs, which is a pretty bad card considering we got two calls. So the big blind checks, I check, and then the cutoff bets 100. The big blind pretty quickly folds, and we're obviously not done with the hand yet. So we call the 100, and then the river is an offsuit deuce, an absolute nothing card. I check, and this time the cutoff bets 250. Considering he was the first caller, and he also called my flopsy bet. And the entire session, I've never seen him show down a hand less than a boat. I feel like we just have to let this one go also and do the nitty move of folding. I used to go in there and tell some of the regulars, I was like, you nitty mother So I folded this hand and I ended up shifting to a 510 table before I ever had the chance of asking this individual what he had. So we don't know what he had. Let me know if you guys fold this river as well with trip eights. Okay, so this next hand is a 5'10 hand I played after moving over. Open king of hearts, 10 of clubs in middle position. Well, it was basically the hijack to $40. I got looked up by the small blind and the big blind. The flop comes ace of hearts, queen of clubs, four of clubs. Both of them check to me. I put out a C-bet of $65, the small blind folds, and the big blind calls. The turn is a seven of hearts. So now there's two flush draws, and we have a blocker to both flush draws. 10 high blocker to the clubs, and then the nut blocker to the hearts. The big blind checks. I put out another continuation bet, this time of 170. Uh, we obviously block ace king and ace 10. I don't know if I take ace 10 this heavy. Um, but I think that this turn bet is fine. And he calls again. The river is a nine of hearts bringing in the backdoor flush draw, giving us, if we had king 10 of hearts, the nut flush, but we only have the king of hearts. So much money out in the middle, I just don't think we can give up yet, guys. Um, I end up betting $500 after check to me, and he ends up going into the tank and calling. And I ended up doing a pretty rookie move of just throwing my hand in the muck once called. Obviously, I don't think we're ever good here, but I didn't get to see what he had. So I'm assuming he looked me up with like, obviously some sort of ace X combo, probably ace Jack. Yeah, so we ended up getting looked up there and I ended up <laughs> losing in the 510 session to lose on the trip 16, which is not a huge deal. I've been on a sick tear this month, both with um, the occasional times that I play live, uh, which has not been a lot, and then when I've been playing online. So thanks for watching, guys. Tune in. I'm going to try to like get back on the roll here. I do have a couple different video series ideas that I'm going to be doing. So we got the one video series, which is going to be my wife and the Redshift Core program. And then the other video series is going to be a video series that me and my buddy Matt, Little Dragon, is uh, we're both working on that, which could turn out to be really cool. So thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate you being patient with me and my lack of content being created. But I hope you do enjoy when they come out. And obviously with this new drone, which I might have got a little drone heavy in this vlog, I'm going to be getting a lot more footage out, I think. Especially with this new Red Chip affiliate deal. This is just, I'm so amped about this, so thank you. Um, see you next time. <laughs>